In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 24 through to 30. When the messengers of John had departed, he began to speak to the multitudes concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken and by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who are gorgeously apparelled and live in luxury are in king's courts. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet, this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. For I say to you, among those born of, a wo of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And when all the people heard him, even the tax collectors justified God, having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves, not have been, having been baptized by him. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true followers of yours. In this reading from St. Luke, we read about how John the Baptist sent messengers to Jesus. You recall this from a day ago. Asking the question, are you the one we expected or is there another one? And then Jesus spoke to the people there and he was saying, what did you go out in the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments. Indeed, those who are gorgeously apparelled live in luxury in king's courts. But what you go out to see? A prophet. Yes, and I say to you, and more than a prophet. This is him of who it is written, Behold, I send a messenger before your face who will prepare your way before you. But I say to you, and this is the surprising one, among you, but I say to you, among those born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he is greater than John the Baptist. Many, of course, found that difficult to believe and understand. He was a great man, John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ who prepared the way. We are preparing now to celebrate the birth of Christ. It's a time for us to pray, to fast, to contemplate our journey in life, where we are going, what's happening in our lives. Are we being true disciples of Jesus Christ? Or are we like the other lost sheep in the world, not knowing where to go, what to do? We have been given a responsibility 
when we take up the cross to follow Jesus, to obey his commandments. Yes. Now during this preparation time to celebrate the birth of Christ, we must focus in on how we are going. Yes. Prepare ourselves through prayer, through fasting, to focus not on the craziness of the world at this time of the year, with all these parties and stuff like that. No. We must prepare our souls. Yes. And every day when you read the scriptures, when you pray, give God the glory for all things that are in your lives, for this opportunity to prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.